Alright guys, so I just wanted to take this personality test to find out what kind of a person I am. I did this before when I was a teenager. I'm 21 now, so it will be interesting to do it again. So let's start. Number one, you are almost never late for your appointments. I mean, this is, this is the tricky thing about some of these questions, is that these answers... These type of answers tend to change for me time to time. There have been periods in my life when I've been late for everything and then times in my life where I'm spot on, on time. It really depends. So they're asking me this question like, I don't know what to say. I'm going to say a light no. I can be late. There are times when I'm late. Oh my gosh. I know it seems like a simple question, but it's never I'm I'm quite punctual in general, but I'm just gonna say a light note. You like to be engaged in a active and fast paced job. It's another note. I like calm, relaxed jobs. I like having a wide circle of acquaintances. No, definitely not. I like having just one or two people I trust completely, you know. I don't watch TV soaps very much. Soaps are not something, you know, like EastEnders, I know what they're talking about. I don't really watch that stuff. But if I do watch it, then definitely I feel very involved. Usually the first to react to a sudden event. Yes, I feel that the world's founded on compassion. Now, this is a tricky one. I think it's founded on a lot more than that. It's founded on justice. It's founded on morality. So not just compassion. Uh, I'm going to say uncertain for that one. It's more than that. I think everything in the world is relative. No, it's not. Because uh, relative, if you Google moral relativism, you'll know what that means. I don't support that shit. Strict observance of established rules rightly to prevent attaining a good outcome. I'm going to start. I think, well, yes, I like to just freestyle and do it my way. It's difficult to get me excited. No, I'm very easily excited. When making a decision you rely more yeah on this one it's difficult to get me excited honestly if you just point at the sky and say look a bird i'll be like wow so yeah so when making a decision you rely more on your feelings than on my analysis of the situation that's a tricky one i think i have a bit of both 50 50 it's like my feelings do matter. Okay, if I feel something strongly, then I know that there's a good reason why I feel that way. But, uh, I also have a very good grip of things, so I'm going to say no. You often think about humankind, yes. I ponder the universe, believe the best decision is one that can be easily changed. Yeah, I mean, I've got glasses, so I was thinking of getting laser eye surgery to sort my eyes out and one of the first things I remember researching is can it be reversed so the reversal thing is important to me so yes ponder the root cause of phenomena yes I'm a big thinker I think a lot prefer to act immediately than speculate about various options no I like thinking things through but I haven't said a hard no there because I sometimes do do things on an impulse you trust reason rather than feelings again this is a tricky one there's times when uh no there's times when i'm gonna say no uh, i'm sorry no i'm gonna say yes that's what i meant i've got a bit of both there you are inclined to rely more on improvisation than prior planning 
improvisation. Kind of, yeah. I mean, this is the thing. I used to do really good planning. This is something that's changed in my life as time went on. When I was a teenager, I actually used to plan really well, but now I don't. Now I just go with it. So, hmm. I'm going to say no. You spend your leisure time actively socializing. No, that's a hard no there. No, I'm very, I'm a very shy person. I don't like doing that shit. I just like watching Netflix, that's it. So if you usually plan your actions in advance. Yes, definitely. Your actions are frequently influenced by your emotions. I'm going to say a light note for that. You are a somewhat reserved and decent. Yes. You know how to put every minute of your time to good purpose. Definitely not. I waste so much time. You often contemplate on the complexity. Yes. Prolonged socializing. Yes. To do jobs in a hurry sometimes. To be general principle. Yes. You frequently easily express. Now, express. I feel, I do feel emotion quite a lot, but actually expressing it, I'm not good at it. Because there's been times when, you know, with my friends, I've been angry with them, but I didn't express it. So I just kind of kept it inside. And then finally it came out and they were like, wow, I didn't know you were this angry with me. I'm sorry. So, yeah, I'm going to say, I'm going to say no. You find it e difficult to speak loud. Yes. Yes. Because theory is like the science-y, math -y books, isn't it? Sympathize. Yes. Yes. Definitely justice is more important to me than mercy. I support the death penalty and shit like that. So there you go. You rapidly get involved in social life of a new workplace. No. The more people I speak to, the better. No. Tend to rely on your experience rather than yes. In fact, I would even say a hard yes. I don't do theoretical. As a rule, you proceed only when you have a clear and detailed plan. Yes. Generally, that's the case. But there has been many times when I've broken that rule, guys. But, uh, yeah, you easily empathize with concerns of other people. Yes. Read a book, then go to a party. Yes. People enjoy. No. Client. Follow. Yeah, I follow familiar approaches more. You are strongly touched by... Yes. Deadlines seem to be relative rather than absolute importance. Yeah, I mean, I hate deadlines. I really do. You prefer to isolate yourself. Yes. Gain hands-on knowledge. Nope, I like reading better. I can't stand any other way of learning. You think that almost everything can be analysed. No surprises. Yes. Pleasure in putting things in order mm, no i don't take pleasure in it but i do like seeing things in order you feel ease in a crowd yes because then no one's really looking at me if i'm in a crowd right so i don't even say yes so you have good control of your desires and temptations yes though not recently recently pizza oh yeah so you easily understand new theoretical principles no i'm awful at science and maths but i try my best you usually place yourself nearer to the side than in the centre of the room. Yes. Problem rather for a familiar approach than seek a new one. Don't worry guys, there's not that many more questions to go in case you're getting bored of this. There's only about like 10 more questions to go, so hang in there. The result will be really interesting. Place yourself... Um, they already asked me that question. That's for it. Yes, I love adventure. I like going, I like seeing new places. So, um, when considering a situation, pay more attention to the current situation and less to a possible sequence of events. No. Now, I always look at the sequence of events before I do something. I think, okay, so if I did this, what would happen next? And then what would happen? And then what would happen? Yeah, I think of that. So, when solving a problem, you rational approach. No. I take quite a unique approach. You find it difficult to talk about your feelings. No, that's the thing. I know I answered, there was a similar question that was talking about expressing. 
while I'm not good at expressing, I'm quite good at talking about my feelings. So that's good. Feeling a moment than on thorough planning. No, sometimes it is, which is why I haven't put a hard no. For spending your time alone or relaxing in a tranquil atmosphere. Yeah. Sticking to conventional ways. No. Yes. Looking for opportunities. Yeah. Hmm, that's uncertain, really. Both of them worry me. It's easy for you to communicate in social situations. No, rarely deviate from your habits. Yes, I rarely deviate from my habits. If I've been doing something a certain way, that's it. You willingly involve yourself in matters which engage your sympathy. Yeah, I like volunteering for animals and things like that. I love guinea pigs. Volunteer at guinea pig rescue. Easily perceive various ways in which events could develop. Yes. Score it. That's it. Oh, look. I'm an INFJ, guys. How interesting. Yeah, let's read what this means. Introverted, intuitive, feeling, judging. INFJs are distinguished by both the complexity of character and unusual range and depth. Oh, makes this sounds like really interesting. If you guys want to pause the screen and read this, you can do. But I'm not going to read all of this out to you, so. No, I don't like psychology and counselling. It's just psychology. No, I hate psychology and counselling. I think that's shit. Yeah, this is, this is a really accurate description of me, though. Other than that, I find it hard. Maths is something I'm terrible, terrible, terrible at. Yeah. System builders. I love this, guys. I absolutely... I absolutely love this. That's awesome. It's really cool. Yeah, this is also true. Everything... The strange thing when I'm reading this is that... Uh, this is so accurate. It de described me really well. I am very suspicious about other people. That's really accurate. I can speak... Look at this. For fluency in language. I can speak three different languages. Fluently. And two of them are Indian languages. So, yeah. It's interesting. That was cool. That was really interesting, guys. I will leave a link in case you guys want to take this test. It's a great thing to do. To find out more about yourself. So yeah.